Here we are at Wolf Road Prairie, and it's a sad fact that so many people in the Midwest will never have any idea how sensually intoxicating the prairie can be. How nice would it feel for your mental, emotional, and spiritual health after a shitty day at work when you maybe want to kill your boss? You come out and you just sensually bathe in all this. The beautiful and intricate chaos of the prairie, all the golden rods, the helianthus, grossus serratus, a native sunflower. You got your monardas down here, a native member of the mint family. You got all your coreopsis trypterus right here with those little colliculi subtendon, those DYCs, those damn yellow composite flowers. This one's nice as hell, Euphorbia corallata. Same genus as poinsettia, and same genus as all those weird African succulents you see people torturing slowly in giant pots that they put outside in the summer. See, she's all excited because she just rolled in human shit. Little does she know she's about to go home and get a Dr. Bronner's bath, get hosed down outside. Did you ever know grass could be so beautiful? Look at that big blue stem, aka Andropogon gerardii. Look at those inflorescences. It's almost got a nice purple tinge to them, a purple bluish tinge to them. That's why they call it the blue stem, obviously. But look at that, like a big plump of grass, a big plumping clump of grass, never been mowed. That's what grass wants to do. We got a lot of cool native grass. We're not anti-grass, we're just anti-lawn. Here's another nice native grass, Indian grass, they call this Sorgastrum natans, nodding Indian grass. I kind of like the name Sorgastrum. But either way, you can see another native grass. That's what they want to do, they want to get tall, see that? Look at this, one of my favorites, Helianthus grossus serratus. The sunflowers you buy at a garden store only grow for one season, they're annuals. This is a perennial, it'll keep coming back. The top dies, but those roots stay alive. Sometimes in a good year, it'll get upwards of 10, 12 feet tall. See, they still got it in beds, but it's spilling out. It's spilling over. It's so dense and diverse and rich and wonderful. And on a warm day, a warm summer day, it's just crawling with pollinators. Got butterflies, all sorts of cool native bumblebees, everything. So this right here is a good illustration of the oak savanna. Illinois is known for two wonderful ecosystems, prairies and oak savannas. Oak savannas are not really forests. They're not dense woodlands. You got a dense understory of all the stuff that can take the part shade, part sun, and then the dominant tree species here is mostly oaks and hickories. Showy bastard, Nabilis asper, a member of the chicory tribe of the sunflower family Asteraceae. Look at these guys, monarchs go nuts for these. Your blazing stars, your liatris, also in the sunflower family Asteraceae. But again, get rid of those neatly pruned beds. Let it spill over during the few months that are the growing season here, three or four months, maybe five months max. Let stuff thrive, let it go nuts. You got your physostegia, your obedient plant, a dwarf willow, Salix humilis, that sorgastrum natans again, the Indian grass, all kinds of different solid doggos and golden rods, helianthus, the native sunflower, milkweeds, silphium, the prairie dock. Look at it, look how tall those inflorescences are getting. And look at that sunset. Looking out on a rich, highly diverse, open prairie, a grassland with that wonderful sunset behind it, you could have this in your front yard too. And if you don't have a house, you don't have a yard, try to do it in your park, all right? Talk to your city, your town, your village, municipality, whatever. See if you can put a native plant garden in your local park, all right? It's a great spot to do this kind of stuff. Look at this sylphium, sylphium integrifolium. That's a really nice one. It feels good to be around this stuff. And that's why so many of us, I think, are kind of lost in existential pain and a number of reasons. But the fact that we're so disconnected from this and so far removed from it, it makes us forget what's really important. So bring this shit home, okay? Kill your lawn, bring this stuff home, embrace the diversity, embrace the beautiful chaos of the prairie. That's like a quick stuff,